We are now at about 6.8 billion people, almost 7 billion people. And this is going from 3 to 7 in my lifetime. Students here, you're going to see it go to 12, telling you. You're going to see it go to 12. You might see it go to 15. That is a lot of people. Now, we can't get rid of the people. <laughs> I mean, I'm the first to admit there are a few. <laughs> that, if it were up to me, okay. And, and I know, I know there are a few people that know me that would like me to be among the, yes, I understand. Uh, nevertheless, this is a huge problem. I went to the first Earth Day back in 1970 <laughs> before even really Motown had, had gone wild. It was just the beginning. In those days, traditional environmentalists want you to do less, okay? Want you to drive your car less. They want you to use less uh, clean water. That's right, you should just walk around in dirty clothes. And uh, really, at best, if you're a human, you should, just don't even eat, really, because humans are bad, and they shouldn't even be here, so just don't eat. Well, that turned out to be very unpopular. It turned out not to, not to go. So what we, do, we need to do is not to do less. We need to do more with less, and we can. This is a picture of me on the roof of my house. I have four kilowatts of solar panels, electric solar panels, I have a solar hot water system there in the foreground, and then I have this crazy dome that's a Fresnel lens, and light is directed down the tube no matter how low the sun is in the sky. It's very nice. All of these things allow me to do more with less. Here's my problem. Here's our problem. These solar panels are about 15% efficient. My watch is solar powered has a little battery, you never wind it. It's not exotic, I got it at Macy's, I think. And, you know, and these solar panels are even less, they're probably 10% efficient. 15% efficient. And I still get 4,000 watts every day, especially this time of year, it's starting to rev up. And what if they were 35% efficient? Or 50, or 60, or 80% efficient? My friends, it would change the world. What if every building were like the new engineering building and had green stuff on it? Do you know why you don't see buildings like this? Nobody knows why. We've never tried it. It's never occurred to anybody. Maybe it would work. Maybe it would be a bust. Maybe it wouldn't work. But maybe it would work. You will encounter over the next few years a bunch of ideas for addressing climate change. People want to put reflectors in space. People want to spew sulfur dioxide into the air. People want to have ships that make clouds and reflect light into space. All of these ideas, whether they're good or bad, you are going to have to decide if they're worthy. You, taxpayers and voters, you're going to have to figure this out. So I want you to become scientifically literate enough so that you can evaluate these ideas and control the change of the world.